Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. I'm also feeling a little bit nervous. I have to tell you something. I am not a good cook. And guess what I did this morning? I piled lots of ingredients into a crock pot and I set the timer. And when I get home, I'm going to see if I made something that my family will eat. It does not look good. My track record is so I'm nervous. Now, when you're nervous, you might need to calm down like I do this morning. So I have some strategies that might help you focus on the present moment and be mindful. So let's use one of our strategies on our wheel of calm. Hmm. Ooh, our soup breathing. That's always fun. It's reminding me of cooking though. Let's hope it does come out good. So I have some shape soup in here. See the different shapes? A square and a rectangle. And I'm gonna pretend that this soup is letting out some steam. And I'm going to smell the soup. And I'm gonna blow the soup. Let's do that again. Smell the soup and blow the soup. One more time. Smell the soup and blow the soup. Of course, you would only do this with pretend soup, but I can already feel my shoulders relaxing. I hope that breathing helped you too. Now, another way that I like to check to see how I'm feeling is by looking in the mirror. So let's help pick out our mirror letter and see what I'm going to use today. Now for today's letter, I'm going to use one big line and it's going to go in a zigzag down. And I'm going to use one little line. It's going to go across like this. Can you guess what letter it is? And another one down here. What letter is it? It's the letter Z, Z for zigzag. Such a funny word, and it even tickles your mouth when you say it. So let me grab my letter Z mirror, and we're gonna check to see how we're feeling. See, oh, I think I know. Now it's your turn to point to the picture that shows how you're feeling. Let's watch. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture, that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling, like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm feeling so nervous and ruffled that I made my Z backwards even. Here's what the Z is supposed to look like. Oof, it's okay to make mistakes. You just go back and fix them. All right, so let's see. We have a special friend today that's going to share their story and their picture with us. Her name is Shayla. See, special letter S and actually special letter H. It's called a digraph. It makes two sounds that go together. It's shh. Can we say hi to Shayla? Hi, Shayla. Now, Shayla wants us to try to guess how she's feeling. She was in the store shopping with her family, and she was in the Christmas section. So let's take a look at her facial clues to see. Let's see, her eyes are wide, and her smile is large and her shoulders look relaxed. If you think that Shayla is feeling happy, make a happy face like this. If you think that Shayla is feeling depressed, make a depressed face like this. 
Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, a lot of you think Shayla's feeling happy in this picture. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And boys and girls, I'd love for you to send in your picture and story too. Ask a parent, a family member, or a teacher to send it to the address below. And remember, if you send your physical address, you get one of those fun sticker books that I showed you. Okay, now let's see. Time to check our plan for the day. We did our emotional check-in. It's time to do our weekly investigation. We're learning all about the farm. And now it's time to sing our good, and then it'll be time to sing our goodbye song. Okay, now before we get on to our intentional message, let's do a movement card to wake us up. Ready? Da 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 da. It's the letter P. P for Pat. This says pat your elbow, but we're gonna pat our knees. Let's do it in a pattern, which is another P word. Let's see. Pat, pat, clap. Pat, pat, clap. Pat, pat, clap. Do you see the repetition? Okay, let me stand up and go to our intentional message here and help focus our work for the week. We're learning all about farms. A farm is a piece of land used to grow plants or raise animals for food. People who grow these plants or raise these animals are called farmers. And I mentioned before that I live in a place where there's lots of farmers and we grow lots of food in our area, delicious and healthy food like vegetables and fruit. Now, I have a song that I wanna share with you. We're gonna have to guess what animal the song is about. Here are our clues. It says, I wonder what's in the big red barn. I wonder what's in it for me. It starts with a D that makes the D sound and it rhymes with pluck. Oh, what do you think it could be? So it starts with D, rhymes with pluck. Hmm, I wonder if it's something that makes a quack, quack, quack sound. A duck, that's right. Let's walk over and sing our duck song. Now the tune is Wheels on the Bus. Let's see, excuse me, soup breathing pole here. It goes like this. The ducks in the pond say quack, 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 quack. The ducks in the pond say quack, 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 all through the farm. Of course, I'm gonna sing it to you in Spanish, which is another language that I speak. That makes me bilingual. It goes like this. Los patos de la granja dicen quack, 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 quack. Los patos de la granja dicen quack, 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 por toda la granja. Wow, isn't it interesting to see how different languages sound? Hey, my friends. Right now it's gonna be time to watch a video. And in this video, we're gonna watch Miss Sarah lead us through a science activity. She's gonna do an excellent experiment. I wonder what that can mean. Let's watch together. Hi friends, it's time for STEM. That's right, it's time for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So come with me, Miss Sarah, as we explore new ideas and learn new things. I got the idea for today's STEM activity when I was thinking about farming. When I think of farms, I think of roosters crowing early to wake everyone up. That made me think of breakfast, and one of my favorite breakfast foods, eggs. We eat eggs in so many ways. From scrambled eggs to making bread, eggs are an important part of the human diet. Historians were able to track back eggs to being farmed as early as 3200 BC by the Egyptians. There is also some evidence of domesticated chickens in the United States of America before Columbus came here. Currently, there are nearly 200 different types of hens that produce eggs for humans to use worldwide, which means there are chicken farms all over the world. From those farms, we get eggs of all different colors and sizes, but what's inside is always the same. Yummy eggs. So what's our STEM activity today? We're going to do an egg sighting experiment to see what happens to eggs when we put them in tap water versus when we put them in salt water. The materials we will need are one egg, two glasses, water, salt, and a spoon. 
The first thing I did was fill both glasses with water, leaving a little room for the water to rise when the egg goes in. Next, I added salt into one of the glasses and stirred it, allowing the salt to dissolve. Remember, to dissolve means that something solid like salt becomes part of the liquid. Now I gently put one of my eggs into the plain water. Look at that, the egg sinks to the bottom. Next, I stirred the salt water one more time, then gently take the egg out of the plain water and moved it into the salt water. Hey, the egg floats. What's the science behind this? It's all about density. The egg is more dense, or in other words, it has more stuff in it than the plain water does. That causes the egg to sink to the bottom. However, when we dissolve salt into the plain water, the salt becomes part of the water, and now the water has more stuff in it, making it denser than the egg. And that causes the egg to float. Now that you've made the egg float, Find other things in your house that you can experiment with to see if it sinks or floats. What did we learn today? We learned that dissolving salt into plain water makes the water more dense, allowing the egg to float. We also learned super duper vocabulary words. Sink, going down to the bottom. Float, to stay at the top of the liquid. Thanks for joining me today and see you next time on STEM with Miss Sarah. Now remember, boys and girls, you can learn all about science in the books around you. And don't forget to check your Sora app. Now I know from watching my friends in the upper grades that some schools are having competitions about who checks out the most books on Sora. Will it be your school? Now I wanted you to say goodbye to Wilbur today. Here he is. Wilbur, is there anything you want to say? <coughs> Oh, he wants to say thank you so much for watching and learning about farm animals. He's going to go back to his pig pen for the week. We might see him again next week. Bye, Wilbur. Okay, now it's time to check our plan and see what we accomplished today. We did our emotional check-in. We did our weekly investigation. We're learning a bit about farm animals. And today we even did some science using an egg. Now it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. And I love it when you sing with me. It's like I can almost hear you across the screen. So let's sing together. Ready? It goes like this. A, B, C, later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna mess ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye bye now. L, M, N. Oh, I had a good time, P, Q, R, you're gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. And oh, I did have a great time with you today. I hope that you make it back tomorrow. We're gonna follow a mindful minute with Mrs. McCarthy. Until then, Miss Sara sends you a big squeeze and a big smooch and reminds you to read, to play, and to enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.